Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about a grid integrated wind energy conversion system in MATLAB. So here you will see that, so this is a simulation model for a grid integrated wind energy system. So this model consists of the wind energy conversion system. These are having wind turbine, PMSG and then here we have boost converter and this boost converter will be controlled by means of uh, paint or BPT and finally it will be connected to the DC link so this is the DC link so this part is known as uh, wind energy conversion system with having uh, PMRG uh, generator and then here in DC link we have uh, Inverter, single phase inverter that are going to be connected to the grid. So, via this LCL filter, and then this inverter okay. So, this inverter will be controlled by means of feed forward decoupling control concept. So, for that, we go to measure the inverter current and then you have to measure the grid voltage so this grid voltage will be used for uh, generating the ohm IIT so here you will see that so here we are using PLL so based upon the PLL the main uh, based upon uh, grid voltage this PLL will be generated ohm IIT so ohm IIT nothing but the phase angle with respect to time so that ohm IIT used for converting that inverter current into a DQ form. So here we are using alpha beta 0 to DQ conversion block. So this is going to be convert that uh, uh, detail, inverter current detail to DQ form. And also here we have another alpha beta to DQ conversion block. So this will be used to for convert that uh, grid to voltage in the VDV So here we will get the IDIQ and here we will get the VD and VQ. And here you will see that right. So this is the control logic. So in this control logic, here we are using a dieseling voltage controller. And then here we, we are using current control. So this is current controller for a D axis. And then here we are applying that feed forward decoupling control. And the addition of this output of this PA controller and then the current from the power generation from the wind energy conversion system is going to act as a reference current for the inverter and here we are separating that ID of the inverter current and going to pass as the APA controller so this will be generate some control signal so this control signal is separated from the IQ omega L and then it is going to be added with VD so here we will get a the control signal, reference control signal in the form of VD and here we are going to sending only real power so here we are going to make the reactive power equal to 0 so that's why we are making IQ reference equal to 0 and it going to be compared with IQ and it going to be process via PA controller and then here we are applying that feed forward decoupling control concept that means here it will be generate some control signal so that will be added with the id omega l and then vq and finally we will get the vd and the vq reference so next you have to convert the vd vq reference into alpha beta and then you have to take only alpha quantity and then it will be processed via pyrolim generator so it will be generate the switching pulse for that that grid died in water okay so this pulse will be control this this grid inverter for injecting the power from this wind energy conversion system to grid okay and here you will see that rate we are, we are having wind turbine with the 3 kilowatt rating so that will be connected to the PMSG and then output of PMSG will be converted to DC by means of this diode rectifier and then here we have the boost converter right 
So this boost converter can be controlled by means of P and MBPT. So for that we are measuring the uh, rectifier voltage and the rectifier current. So based upon that rectifier voltage and current, it going to be that means here we have that P and O MBPT equations, right? So we made uh, several videos about P and MBPT. You can check our YouTube channel for more about that P and MBPT. So that will be that will output of P and MBPT will be duty cycle. So that duty cycle is process via the speed volume generator. So the speed volume generator will be generated the switching pulse for this MOSFET in order to expect the maximum power from the wind energy system as well as uh, transfer the power to the uh, DC link. Okay. And here you will see that uh, uh, the power of uh, rectifier and the power of boost converter and then you can see the the voltage of the rectifier voltage and the voltage of the boost converter okay so now uh, here we create that uh, uh, wind speed right so here we are changing the wind speed from 12 meter per second to 10.8 meter per second after one second and then you have to check the result so the wind turbine will be receiving three input generated speed pitch angle and wind speed okay the, the speed of the PMIG will be taken here and then converted into per unit and it's given to this point and the wind speed variation will be given here here we are making pitch angle will be always zero so we are not limiting pitch angle control so now i'm going to open this scopes and then i'm going to again i'm going to simulate the model we have to see the results okay so now here you will see that so this is a rectifier voltage and then here we have a boost converter so the dc in voltage here we are going to control up to 400 volt okay so here you will see that it will take some time to settle to 400 and also here you will see that we are uh, this is a power of rectifier and this is a power of boost converter okay is uh, is going to be maintained around the uh, 3000 watts okay and then here you will see that this is an inverter voltage aggregate voltage okay and then here you will see that this is an inverter current and here you will see that both inverter volt uh, inverter voltage aggregate voltage both are having in phase component so what does what does means whatever power we are generating from the wind energy conversion system so that will be sent to the point of common coupling or uh, to the grid point okay so if both are in phase so we are pumping the power to that uh, grid point okay so both are having in phase and also you see the grid current also in phase with the grid voltage because we are not using any load in between that inverter and the uh, and grid so what are power we are generating so that going to be sent to the grid okay from the wind energy system so here you will see that so the power of the grid point okay so this is reactive power of the uh, reactive power of the uh, grid okay so after one second that uh, wind speed changed to 10.8 meter per second so because of that what happened so here you will see that uh, there will be small oscillation in the voltage after after some time so it going to be maintained at 400 volt and then so this is a power of the rectifier this is a power of the a boost converter so after reduction of uh, wind speed to 10 uh, 10.8 meter per second and you will see that right uh, because of reduction in the power the inverter current uh, and grid current you can see that so that current also reduced accordingly to the power generation from the wind energy system so now you can see that this is a uh, real power is sent into the uh, grid because of reduction in the wind speed so now system uh, working with the varying wind speed also and also you can see that that uh, the diesel voltage is maintained at 400 after changing wind speed also okay and also here you will see that that uh, the grid voltage and uh, inverter gun having in phase component and also uh, it having sinusoidal nature so uh, now i need to check the so if you want to check the PST, just you have to store the data first. Okay, and then you, you can check the PST. Okay, I think a little system having sinusoidal nature that means inverter current under so grid current and sinusoidal. So definitely the 
THD of the current will be less than uh, five percent only. So I will simulate for some time and then after that I will check the THD of the inverter current or grid current. So now I am going to start the simulation and then I am going to check the THT. So for that we need, we need to click this power GI and then go to tools and click FFT analysis and then here you will see you have to change the input to and then you have to measure the THT after 0.25 seconds right. So here I am going to make the time will be 0.3 and frequency will be 50 and then same as maximum frequency I'm going to click, uh, click display so now you can see that the THD of this system is around 1 point some percentage only so it's less than 5 percentage only so it allow and then we need to obey that IEEE standard for power quality okay so this is the working model of uh, the grid connected uh, wind energy conversion system in MATLAB so thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.